To episode 95 of Madhouse Militia presents Immoral Tacos. We wish to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go, such as Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com, his mobile server and IRC, and that's where we host our live shows every Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, Dragon Mirror for the Corn Down at CornDown.com, and FreeSpeechMotherfucker.com. We also wish to thank our patrons, such as Jason O, Ryan T., Travis B, Gold Rust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts, 666, Jesus Penus, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. Thanks to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more about us at patreon.com forward slash Madhouse Militia. You can find our YouTube at Madhouse Militia and our TikTok at Immoral Hole. You can find our edited shows at immoralhole.com and our live shows at immoraljuice.com. If you wish to contribute to the show, you can visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. If you want to join us on a live show, visit rogueserver.com forward slash AKSPA. Good evening. Thank you for calling the Hyatt Regency Hello. Minneapolis. How can I assist you? Hi. Yeah, I'm in the room. Of pr- uh, I'm setting up the, the, the security system here. Uh, we got a little situation in Sector 8. Sector 8? see eight. that guy in Sector 8? Yeah, they're, they're doing something with the ice. I got some here, but it's it's not, it doesn't feel right. Like, it's not as cold as it should be. And that guy, I think he was fiddling with the, the controls. With the ice controls. Okay, give me one moment to get you connected with engineering. Oh, engineering, yes. Yes. Okay, okay we're on the right page here. Okay, give me give one me, second. Yeah, give me to Jordy LaForge right away. Thank you. Yeah, that's got to go. Hold. I doubt that goes to a person, though. Hello, good evening. Thank you for calling Los oh. Minneapolis. With whom do we have a pleasure of speaking with? Hi. Hi, this is Frankie. I got a problem in Sector 8 with the ice cubes. They're not as cold as they used to be. I was here oh, just the other oh, week, have... and I was I was playing with the ice cubes, and I was, you know, putting them in my things, you know. I like to put the ice in my things, and, and I press on the ice, and then I, I pick up the... the the, the, the vase, and I, I light the lighter, and I, I go and I go. Of course, I totally understand. I'm so sorry. I truly apologize about that. Please bear with me for a second. Let me go ahead and put you in contact with my mail line in Minneapolis. They will be happy to assist you, okay? I will put you just on a brief hold. Oh, where Have are a you? a beautiful night. Where are you? <laughs> where, where in the world yeah, am I? It, <laughs> no, no, you are in Minneapolis. Just because oh. you you can you call to the central uh, uh, call number. That's oh, why. But bear with me for a where second, are please. Where are you? <laughs> please bear with me for a second, so oh, somebody will know assist where you, you are, really fast, okay? Because I'm not in Minneapolis. <laughs> yeah, everything is on base on uh, Nashville. But thank you very much. Oh. Bear with me for a second, please. <laughs> okay, I'm bearing, I'm bearing witness. Oh, yeah. Close Minneapolis we Hotel, how can I help you? Close Minneapolis Hotel, how can I help you? Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Hi. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, good. The lady that sent me over here, she wouldn't tell me where she was. She said she was in Nashville, but I don't believe it. Can I help you with something? Yeah, the ice. I've got a situation with the ice. It's not. It's it's coming out real runny. Well, what do you mean? Where are you at? At the ice machine, and it's coming out real which, runny. Which ice machine? The one near the which stairs. Which floor? Which floor? Uh, well, that's a good question, isn't it? I guess it's the second one because I, I went up the stairs. And you're here at the Lowe's in Minneapolis? Yeah. Because our ice machines aren't by the stairs, technically. Okay, well, maybe I misjudged things. I thought that was the stairs. Maybe it's another room, honestly. I didn't look. But it's very wet up here. Do you know which floor? Yeah, I think it's the second floor. It's second or third. I don't remember how we many... We don't have a second floor. Okay. The stairs, though. And you're here at the Lowe's in Minneapolis? Because we don't have any ice machines on a second floor because we don't have a second floor. Okay, I misspoke. I misconfused. I get confused, okay? Oh. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where you are. Well, if it wasn't stairs, what did I see that was metal and gauge? Hey, Frankie, you got yeah. more of that beer? Frankie. Here. Hurry up. Take, Bring here, the beer back. Take the goddamn thing, you motherfucker, you. Sorry. Hey. Oh, God. Dang. All right. Yeah. Oh. What? Uh, hello, Jared. I'm calling him with regards to getting a room there. I'm not sure. I thought this was a hotel lobby, uh, like a, a person to answer the phone and talk to me about the rooms. But if you could give me a call back at this number, that'd be great. Thanks. Uh, you might get my wife. All right. Bye. Thank you for calling Live in Hotel. And really, this is Destiny speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Destiny. Hello. Yes. I uh, kind of smelled a little bit like weed. And I was just wondering um, if you knew where Aura was coming from. Uh, where about are you? Do you know where the... I mean, we can... I'll just go towards... You know, I, I guess you haven't heard if there's any any um, any smoking happening. What room are you in, sir? So you haven't heard any about anything smoking? I mean, I'm just trying to find... I mean, if someone's smoking something somewhere, I mean, I don't know. It just, I got, a, I caught a whiff. You know when you catch like a whiff? No, I understand like, that. You know that, that smell? If, if you smell? If you smelt it in the hallway, it could have been smoke you, coming from outside, and, and there's no control over that. But if you are thinking are you that there's smoke, I'm sorry. Are you? I. I mean, are you guys smoking? I mean, it's, who's smoking? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not. I'm not taking no toler like tolerance. I'm trying to figure out what you're what you're talking about. If the oh no, just like weed, not like cigarettes inside. I'm talking about weed. I understand that. I, I, I know what you're some saying. Weed. Yeah, you want to smoke some weed? Okay, and what I'm telling you yeah. is that if you are smelling what? it, um, yeah. it could have been somebody yeah. that is coming from outside. But if you know where they're, dead where they're at? No, I, I don't. I want to go talk to them real quick. I want to talk to them. They sound like cool people. I want to talk to okay. them real quick. You know, maybe... I don't know. It just sounds like you might know something about, like, if somewhere outside, you're saying. You keep saying outside, outside, outside. Right, because I'm saying Hello? that you're selling... Oh, yeah. Yes, me that they you're smelling weed smell. They could have went outside... Yeah, and I'm smelling some weed. Yeah, I'm about, yeah, I smell some weed. Huh? So what is it that we're getting to here? So we're going in circles. Who's got Who's got the weed? You're You're holding back on me. Come on, I'm cool. I'm not a cop. No, I I don't know what you're talking about, sir. You You called the front marijuana. Desk of the whole- marijuana. I smell it. Are you hiding it? I'm so calling the sheriff. Smoke. I'm gonna call the police, and you're gonna have to go. I'm gonna call the sheriff. We on don't you. sell. We don't sell marijuana. I'm not 
trying to buy any. I'm just trying to smoke it. What's the matter with you? We don't sell marijuana or have it. Why would you call I the front smoke. looking for it? Why would you call the front desk? I don't have... I don't have any money. I can smell it. And I want to know who's got it. I okay, want to go well, fucking Navy. I can pick a... Who's Stop got it? Stop calling up here asking stupid shit. Stop saying dumb Stop shit saying back dumb to me. Shit. I don't... Uh, Days Hotel, this is Curtis. I'm here to direct your call. Hello? Hi. Have, have you noticed the smell of weed in, in the here? No, where you, where you, what floor are you on? Uh, well, I don't, I don't know if I should tell you, because it really reeks, uh, it's like the second floor here. Okay, thank you, I'll, I'll investigate it, thank you. Well, no, no, I was, I was wondering if you know, you know, where I can get some. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. I don't. Well, if you find out who All right. it is, Frankie. Can you send them my All right, way? Oh, I want to come to that party. I smell it. I smell All right. it green. All right, I'll let you know. All right, thank All right, you. thanks, Bye. man. Good All right. Have a good day. Focus. Hello? Hello? Hi. Yes. Uh, yeah, what's the deal with the hole here, out here? I'm sorry, where? The hole... Uh, we we were we were driving. We pulled up and we we got ourselves stuck in the hole here. Uh, are you close to the hotel or in the parking lot? Well, yeah, but we we went off to go get a drink because uh, our bike got stuck in the hole. It's not a very big hole, but it was very moist and damp and wet and and warm. We thought maybe it, it was outside? some sort of a, uh, some sort of like a sewer hole. Is it outside? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right outside there, right where you put, you know, you park your bike. Because we were parking our our, our moped bike, uh, scooter, and it, it, the front wheel got stuck in the warm hole. Are you sure you're calling the right hotel, ma? Yeah, yeah. And my 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 grandfather was there, and he kept yelling, "Oh, they're fucking me! They're fucking me! They're fucking me!" Because he bought what he is the bought the <laughs> moped. There he is. They're fucking me! 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 Okay, your turn. No, no, don't do that. Listen, the guy that works there, I need you to do something for me, please. Hello? Hello? Sir, I need your help. Yes, I don't see you. Where are you? I'm bending over in front of you. I need you to insert your penis into my ass. Call your grandfather, bro. I am the grandpa, you dickhead. I'm driving the moped. He's the grandpa. Oh my god, I am your grandpa moped. right now. You fucking piece of shit. Get the fuck out of here. Don't talk to my grandpa like that. Son of a bitch. You're out of the toilet hole. Hello? Hello. Hi, oh. hello. This is the Amada. Yeah, we got uh -oh. a situation uh -oh. in the bathroom. Uh -oh. Our hands are stuck in the toilet hole. Uh, what room number? Uh. <laughs> it sounds like someone just took a shit on our hands. In what bathroom you have the situation? It's the bathroom in the two room, uh, on the second story near the stairs, right, right there. I'm the only one with a free hand. The other hand's covered in uh, the mess because we thought we, we had a plunger. We tried plunging it, but we don't have a plunger, so we tried to scoop it out. But 
We just got out of the shower and there's You in one what number are you in? Two two thirteen? Yes, yes, we're two thirteen. Okay, I'll 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 bring your plunger. I'll bring your plunger. Oh, thank God. Can you no problem. plunge my I'll bring one. No problem. I'm stuck oh, to my elbow Christ. in the no problem. I'll bring you one. All right. Oh. Okay. Come on. No, All need, right. You need to bring a winch. Yeah. Okay, so are you on your like, uh, five or four G cellular can, like, link? Golden Fender. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Yeah, we're trying to locate the source of the the smell of marijuana in the hotel. Do you oh, know who it is? Sorry, what's the name? Oh, yeah, I'm not staying here. We're just walking by. We noticed that there was a scent of marijuana uh, uh-huh. all around, like outside and, and around. So we've been uh-huh. trying to find the person because... Uh, do you know who, who it is? No, I don't know. Oh. Is it you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you know maybe who's, like, who's got it? Sorry. Hello. Oh, here's my grandpa. Oh, okay, bye. Thank you for calling the King to Minnetonka. This is Rhonda. Can you hold one moment, please? Help me, Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. Thank you. Rhonda, hello. We need to talk now. Yes. I noticed you were trying to make a prank call. Do you want assistance with that? Bye. Superman, should I help you? Hi. Uh, do you know where the, the cannabis smoke is coming from? The smoke? Yeah, there's uh there's the scent of marijuana on the air. We're just wondering if you know who it is. Where? In the hotel. Because we're walking by. We're local to the area. Uh, we were walking by and we could smell oh. uh, marijuana on there the air. Smell. We wonder if you knew who oh. it was. Where are you in? You know, weed. Oh, we're outside. We're just walking by. We're in our, you know, truck. We're just, we're just in the back seat here. Yeah. I smell weed, just, man. Uh, do you know who, like, who's dealing around here? Is it you? Do you, you like, sell? You got a joint? Ask if they got a joint. No, this. Okay, I think you called to the wrong number. No, I think this is the right one. This is a hotel, right? Over here on uh, 78. It's, it's yeah. really good. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, so I got the right place. So, yeah, this is the this is the one that has the marijuana pool, right? No. Who they can sell it's a, a different. Joint. Well, it says here. It says no, no, right no, it's here. a different you marijuana. It's not our model. Ours is a suburban studio. Sorry, man, wrong call. It says right here, marijuana in the reviews. It said the man at the front right desk says ma- sells marijuana if you give him the keywords. So I don't know the keywords. That's the problem. I don't want to get you in trouble. Like, what do I have to say? Bong. Do I, do I, I talk know, about man. the Sorry. grapefruit juice and the... I think we're going north to Rosewood. Can I help you? Yeah. How you doing there? Good. So I was walking by your hotel, and um, I just went and got some food. And when I was walking by, I noticed there's a smell of something, you know. And I was wondering if you, if I could, you could point me in the direction of where to get the stuff. I have no idea. You know what I'm talking about? It smells really good. Yeah, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't know where you would get it. You you smell it. Basically, what you do is you got to burn it, and it stinks really good like a skunk. Okay. And, and then you up. inhale it. I know you got some, motherfucker. Maple Grove Extended Stuff, can I help you? Yeah, uh, I saw the Instagram post, and it said to, to talk to you about the stink. What? There's a post on Instagram. It says to call you because it stinks really good. Yeah, you got the wrong number. No, it's you, man. You're at the hotel, man. And and we're supposed to talk to you about it. You know, we can't say the word. 
we got to be secret. Yeah, uh, I got no idea what you're talking about, man. You got the wrong number. If you want to, it's you, room, man. Quit you acting with... stupid. You're on the Instagram post. <clears throat> okay, what's the what's the uh, account name for this things for this Instagram account? The account name is it sinks dot com. All right, man. Have a good night. Fuck you, mother. Down in the Hello? clown. Yep. Hold the Minneapolis Hello? front desk. Oh, yeah, my family's all hey. just yelling in my ears. Let me give my grandpa the phone. I'm high. Hello? 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 Hello. Hi. Yes, uh, I need your help. Uh, I had my groundhog in here, and he ate something. And he took off running out the door. And he's running through the hallway now. Can you help me catch him? I can't find him. Is he coming down your way? My groundhog. What, uh, what, uh, what room are you in? I'm not in the room. I'm in the hallway looking for him. He ate something. I think it was up under the bed. I don't know. And he came out there, just took off running right out the door. And I'm looking for him. Crazy groundhog. Okay. He asked. All yeah, hot and crazy, man. It's Groundhog Day, and we brought him out for the celebration. You know, yeah. And he's That's gonna right. have it up. He don't didn't go back in the hole. He's ready to party, and he ate something under the bed. He took off. Yeah, you think? You um, yeah, absolutely. Do you know? Um, I mean, if you could retrace your steps, do you know where he would celebrate getting like the next uh, six weeks more of winter, or do you think he would be more in a in a shallow kind of bar area, being sad that we didn't get six more weeks of winter. Um, I, know. I think you should check He's out either of those places. We don't have to go back to bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. Belly. Okay. He's got a big... Broad belly. Belly. He's a nice... Oh, yeah. Guy. Now you're making me hungry, yeah. sir. <laughs> I like Groundhog, yeah. too, but he's not really for it. He likes You're having petty fun over there, it sounds like. Oh, yeah, man. We're having a good time. I got a boyfriend with oh, me yeah. and his buddy. But we're looking for that daggone ground. Oh. His name is Potbelly yeah. Pete. Call him oh. out. Potbelly Pete. Sting, say, Potbelly Pete. Potbelly Pete. All right. So, um, well, what does he look like? Is he, is he a big boy? Is he, uh, or is he kind of small stature? He's a pretty big one. Yeah, he's about 25-pounder. He's got a great big belly on him. His belly drags the ground. Belly. He's got great big <laughs> butt teeth. Yeah, man. He's bright. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that's a big guy. He's got For a silver sure. looking tail. He's a little bit old now. He's at least five years old. old, so his tail turned gray. 35. Oh, yeah. Yeah, silver gray. Okay. Yeah. And his, uh, his fur is, uh, is gray as well? No, just his, just his tail. When they get older, they turn from gray to silvery gray. But his body's all brown. He's got great big buck teeth. The old belly drags the ground. He's so fat. He ate so much wood. And he ate something up under yeah. the bed took off running. I think he's high now. Belly Pete. Thing is high. Oh, yeah, I he's high. Belly Pete. Yeah. But you see, man, I want you to grab him, hold him for me. He'll let you pet him. He's a nice guy. He's real friendly. Oh, yeah. He okay, kind of purrs like Perfect. a kitty no, cat I, if I like you rub him right on the big old belly. Yeah. Rub him on the belly. Yeah. Him on the the belly. Yeah. Well, either one. He's not really... He's not really... Uh, he doesn't have any preference. He's uh, really friendly. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, I'll He'll roll right over, over on his back. Right um... Yeah. But um, I, I hope you have a great night with your boyfriend. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope you uh, yeah. find your groundhog. But we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye out for you, definitely. Oh, thank you so much. God bless you. I love you. You're such a nice yeah, guy. Absolutely. Happy Groundhog Day. God bless you, too. Thank you. You, too. Sir. You tell Bye-bye. Pop Belly Pete we're looking for him. Okay, I will. Thank you. Bye, Belly. Where are you? Thank you. I love you. Yeah, Pop Belly. Imagine he accidentally looks and all we hear is, all we hear Thank is. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling, loves. Hello? 
on Choctaw Road. This is Dan. May I Hi. help you? Hi. Um, there's a bird outside, and it's in the tree. Good for it. Hello. Thank you for calling West Story 452 in Paul's Valley. This is Corbin speaking. I'm out of phone call. Yeah, um, I was driving the truck. I'm parked on the side in big trucking truck. It uh, says big trucking on the side. I'm so sorry if you said that one more time for me. I'm in the big blue truck on the on the other side of the building. It says big trucking LLC on my on the side of my truck. Sure. I just want to let you know there's a goddamn bird in the tree out here. It looks like a like an exotic bird. It's not a it's not a normal crow or a pigeon. It's some weird goddamn bird I've never seen before. You should come out there and just see if you could catch it. That thing's crazy looking. All right, I will head out there in a little bit. Um, like on the side by like where the speedco and stuff is at, or on the other 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 side. Well, it's just a big bird. It flew from one side of the station to the other. It's like got a big ass beak and some pretty big wings. It's like blue and red, and I don't know what the fuck that thing is, man. It's just a big ass bird flying around, take a big shit on my truck. I got you. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll be heading out there in a second as soon as one of my other team members come back, and I'll check it out. All right, man. Thank you. I'm in the big truck. Says right. big trucking. Yes, sir. I'll be out there in a little bit. Thank you. Thank you for calling, pilot. How can I help you? Hi. I just got my 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 buddy. He just popped in on the phone. I don't. Know. Well, anyway, uh, we were wondering. Uh, you know, it was okay when we get to the. Sh- you have a shower open or no? That's number one. Uh, right now we have seven available. Okay. Uh, is it alright if we take patients? Uh, we, we're traveling, uh, doctors. Uh, we're doing impromptu, uh, p- prostate, uh, examinations. We're, we're accredited and everything. We're licensed to do this. It's, it's perfectly normal. We just want to make sure, you know, it's okay. Uh... Wants to know if they can cross me. Starts at $150 a minute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if we get Hi, to say something. Hi. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hi, yeah, I was wondering, uh, you have an f- open bathroom? Give me one second. Oh, oh, oh boy. Ooh. Yes. Okay, uh, is, it, is, it, is it a hole, the toilet? Like, not just urinal, right? Oh, boy. You said it's the toilet and not the urinal? Yeah, yeah, I need a toilet. Uh, oh, yeah. God. Uh. Loves two or three. How many direct your call? Hello. Yeah, is there a man there I can speak to that's working? Yes. Can I get a name so I can tell him? My name is Heck Ramirez. Okay. It's okay. It is that a big sack. And a big sack over his back. Down his pants and stick it in the pillow. Yeah. Pillow man. Pillow man. Got it. Down it. The quill. Do you like to pick with big pillow? I don't think they're coming back. Love 205. This is Jeannie. How can I dress this all? Yeah, who's that guy that was working there? I need to speak to him right now. I don't know which guy you're talking about. There's a man that was working there. Just put him on the phone. I don't know which one you're talking about. 
Just put any man on the phone. I don't want to talk to a woman like... The mother friend is speaking. How can I help you? Hi. Um, There's some noise in the room next door to me. Room number, sir? You are in I don't want to tell you because it stinks. I can't tell you, but it stinks in here. No, which, which is your room number? If you put, if listen, you can kind of hear them making noise, the people next door, the two men. No, but what's your room number? Watch, listen, I'll put the phone up to the wall, listen. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hi, is Nunu there? Yes. Hello. He's there. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Is Nunu there? Nunu. Nunu. Yes, he's yeah. there. Yeah. He's Pardon there. Me? What's the name of the person? Is Nunu uh, there? You. No, no, you idiot. No, there is no 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 here. Well, is your sister there, you banchor? Put her on the phone. Daisy and Brendan, how can I help you? Hi, why is the phone slimy? Sorry? The phone in the room is slimy. What's your room number, sir? As uh, two, uh, two zero two one zero five. Uh, Sorry. Has it's very slimy. The door handle slimy. I can't. I can't open the door. Okay, it's very I'll slimy. be there. I just need your room number, so I'll be there. Right. Well, no. I just I had questions as to why it was slimy. I'm not really concerned about like. If it's not locked properly, it will just uh, beep it <laughs> around. Okay, but uh. Why is the door handle slimy? I just come and look after it. So, what's your room number? I said uh, two one five. Two one five. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and okay, I'll just. When I try up. to open the door, when I try to open the door, it's very slimy. I'm concerned because it's, it's uh, you know, it is brown and slimy. Okay, I will be there shortly, sir. It looks I'm like peanut up. butter, but it smells really bad. I've, I've been washing my hands for a like half hour now. So what's your name, sir? It's, uh, it's Johnson. Harry Johnson. I'm here with my wife. Okay. No problem. I'll be there and just look after it. Okay. You'll look after the slimy... Um, I think it's doo-doo, feces, caca all over the door handle, honestly. I think someone... I think the last person might have put the door handle inside of themselves or something. No problem, sir. I will he just... Come man door handle stinks. You know that man that door handle stinks. Here, take the phone. You, honey, you talk to him. You yeah. talk to him. Okay. Yeah, Hello. my name is Big Dick. Where the fuck is this smell hey. coming from? I'm his husband, and this door handle stinks. It smells like it's been up somebody's back. What the hell is this stuff what? on the door handle, sir? Hi, it stinks. Uh, hi, so you guys are in 215, so what's the name for 215? On the reservation? Um. Yes, and, uh, I don't know the name of the person because it's his name, but I'm just here, and there was something on the doorknob. Okay, for 215? Whatever it is, it stinks. I don't know the room number. I don't know. I kind of speak a lot of English because of the man that he got me here. You know, he's helping me. Okay. Under my nails. Hi, thanks for calling Motel 6 Brandon. Shelly speaking. Shelly. Yeah. Um, there's a squirrel in my room. 
there's a squirrel in your room? Yeah, it's a little squirrel. It came out of the the electrical socket. It like opens it like a door, and it comes out and then goes back in. Really? Yeah. Hmm. He has a little hat in a briefcase. Oh. Yeah, and he leaves and comes back. I've I've been here for two days, and I think he goes to work or something. Or something. Yeah. Chip, 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 chip. Yeah. And and what room number is that in? Two one five. Oh okay. Yeah. The squirrel. Um, he likes nuts. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll just have to have somebody. So come I give him bees nuts. Give him. Huh? All right. We'll have somebody come check it out. Bye. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I don't want to check it out. I was bloated and went in my fucking face. Oh yeah, in Brandon, this is the Paul Mayhew. Hi. Yeah, I was eating a steak in the room, and the butter it just it, it it got all over my face, and I don't have anything to clean my face off with, so I look like a fool. And my wife's in the bathroom. She's been in there for quite a while. Honey, are you okay in there? She's not answering, but I'm sure oh. she's fine. Oh, yeah, she's fine. Where can we get it? 215. Last I checked, but every, everything's greasy in here. Uh, I don't want to ruin the, you know, the sheets by cleaning things. Yeah. What's the name on the room? Sorry. Oh, I don't really feel like, you know, getting into that. I can come down and get things, I guess. I just wanted to let you know, when we came in, it was very slimy and slick in here. Like, someone might have, like, poured grease or something on the floor. What? On yeah, the I don't know. Yeah, like, like, there's a butter stain or something. It's Can almost you like get someone was eating, like, Can a steak and butter got all over the place, and I don't know what happened. Can you get your name, please? Well, it's okay. We we can clean it up. I don't think it's like a, a no, issue. No, I can send you know? someone to clean it, please. Oh no, yeah. no, no! It's I think we made this mess. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, I think so I made this mess anything. when I was eating the steak and it got all over the place. And my wife was, you know, she's having trouble in the toilet. Um, honey, do you still need toilet paper? Yes, I'm Okay. Do you happen to have an enema down there? Or you, is Please. there a place we can get one? Ooh. I'm sorry, just a second. Oh, okay. Yes. We're, I'm holding it here. Everything will be all right. It'll be all right, honey. Oh, thank you. I did. I did. Maybe she has a hose. Oh. We can hook up outside and we can, like, bring it in. Oh. Just spray, spray Sir, if you need Poopy any help, you can send someone. Can you give me your well, name, please? Can you send a, yeah. maybe a hose up here? I can help spray the doo-doo caca feces out of my wife. With a hose. I'm so constipated. Oh. Would that be possible? Sorry, but you need... Please! I need a hose. A large hose, perhaps. Uh, okay, so what's your room? Here, let me give my wife the phone. She can explain the situation to you in, in great detail. Here, honey, take the phone. Oh, oh, I'm so, I'm so bound up. I need, I need an animal, honey. Please, see, just give me an animal or a. Soapy water hose. You got an enema? Could you could you ask the nurse, please? Can I get your na- um, room uh, number? Yes. Yeah. My name is Jethreen Geraldine Lewis. I can't poop. I haven't you- been able to go for three and a half days. <laughs> Oh, room number, please. Send me an enema. Yes, I need a nurse or an enema. Oh, 
And you got a, a, a hose and with with the bag of soap and water. I might be able to get unbounded. Um, yeah. In place. Yes. See the nurse and uh, maybe a, a pair of tongs because it's stuck. It's stuck sideways. We would be needing your number. I can't poopy. You understand? I am poopy in three and a half days. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, just an animal. That, that'll do it. I just, it. Or bring a pair of tongs and a guy with some strong hands. He could grip on that doo doo and pull, uh, pull it out. Uh, uh, please. Uh, I need help. It's a, it's a big one. Oh, 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 I'm so bound up. Hello? Good, Good um, evening, video motel. Oh, hi. Hey, so we're out here, and we got our hands on the spiky hole out here. Uh, do you know anything about this hole? Pardon? The spiky hole. We're out here. Could you be Could you be the motel? Uh, okay. I'm out here, outside. We're walking by, and with the tree, and there was a, a hole. We put our hands inside the hole in the tree. Now what? Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, Bidwe Motel in Brandon. Oh, wow. I don't know we were inside somebody. It's pretty wild, huh? Good. Good evening, Bidwe Motel in Brandon. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay, I have to go now. I don't I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I think we're 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 just too far apart, you and I. You know. This this isn't gonna work out. Okay, good night, bye. Uh Aveda Sen, uh Comfort and Brennan, Kelly speaking, how can I help you? Hi. I'm here with my brothers, but I I'm driving. Can I hand it to you guys to take care of? Okay, here, take it. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, we're gonna be coming to the room. Okay. We were wondering if it's okay if we bring our our grill for our tortillas. The which? Sorry. It's because you know my tia she's making menudo and I gotta cook them in the tortillas. So I was wondering if I can bring in my little comal, if it's okay. Um, shouldn't be a problem as long as it's not gonna like as long as it's not a hazard. Que es que, que es hazard? What does that mean? Like as long as it won't cause a fire, um, it won't cause the power to go out, um, it won't smoke up the room. Just oh, kinds. sometimes it's smoking to make a little smoke coming up. Yeah, then probably not. Unfortunately. Amen. Oh fucking sh- God damn it! Okay, talking to Milkman then because Milkman is right here too. He's gonna tell you something. Okay. <laughs> uh, <coughs> oh yeah, uh, this is some good shit, man. My brother, he's going to make a bunch of tacos, and uh, uh, my name is Dave, and I got this shit. Yeah, good. good um, come maybe over here. we give you some of the carne with the tacos. <laughs> it's okay if you yeah. let us cook in the tacos right here or no. Yeah. Mm, no, unfortunately know. not. Oh, come on, man. We need to cook in these because my tia needs menudo, so we got to sell the tacos for $2. For sure. I definitely understand. Um, But it does cause a hazard to other guests that are in the hotel, so I'm going to have no. to say not not this day, unfortunately. Can we do it outside? Can we do it outside? If you'd like to do it outside, then that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Do, do you like tacos? Pardon? Do you like tacos? 
Um, yeah. What's your favorite taco? What kind of meat? Yeah. Um, I, I don't have time for this right now. I'm very sorry. We, we There's some, uh, man. We need to know so I can make some tacos. No, I am with these nuts, Taylor. Stop Fucking making name, tacos, man. man. Yeah. Celtics. Hi. How are you doing Hi. tonight? Good. And yourself? Oh, I'm good. I'm looking for a bed to rest my weary body. Okay. For tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, one bed or two beds? Well, that depends. How many people can fit to a bed? Or in a room? Is it is it by room and bed, or is it by bed and room? Or person and um, feet? It doesn't really matter on the amount of people, but uh, we have rooms that have a queen-size bed. Okay. One bed, or a room with two queen-size beds. They're about $10 more than our regular room. Okay. Are there any smoking rooms? No. All our rooms are non-smoking. Okay. Uh, what about fireworks? Can we use the fireworks? No. <laughs> okay, because we were planning on doing fireworks off, like, a balcony. We don't have we're balconies filming here. filming for TikTok. Oh. So can we do it in the bathroom? We'll be real quiet. No. Okay. Hey, she said it's Okay. I don't know. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. She said it's okay for me? Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, I'm doing, look, I'm doing. I hear it. Why is it getting closer? What the fuck? Oh. What the fuck? Oh no, no! Ah shit, man, we fucked up, man. Thank you for calling Ramada in Carla Hotel. My name is Irish. How can I help you? Hi, um, it's okay I eat the ice cream? Yeah. Hmm. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay to eat the ice cream? Hmm. What? What can I do for you, sir? I'm asking, it's okay to eat the ice cream that was in the fridge in the back? in the back. Um, you know the little fridge? There's a little fridge right there. And there's ice cream. And I'm eating it. Okay. It's okay or no? Did you buy it here at the Ramada? No, no, I didn't buy it. It was in there. I just took it. Then you have to pay for it then. But I already have the ice cream in my room. I don't want to pay. What room number are you in? No, I'm not telling because you're going to make me come pay for my ice cream. I ain't going to pay for that shit. Well, we will figure out anyway because we have CCTV and ice cream. We counted it every night, so... Oh, no, come on. Come on, for ice cream? How much is it? I give you yeah. the money. If you're going to be like that, come on, man. Ice cream, what do you have? What kind What kind of ice cream do you have there? Um, let me see. Um, 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 Rocky Road. Rocky Road? Mm, yeah. We don't have Rocky Road here. Um, 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 
The house is nuts. Sorry? It has um little little nuts in, in that ice cream. There's a little bit of nuts. Well, you have the name on the ice cream, right? Yeah, it's nuts. Mm. Mm. Right. Come on, let me just have the ice cream. I don't want to tell you. Just let me having it, please. All right. Is there anything else okay, I can help you? Okay, thank you. No, it's okay. That's it. That's it right there. That's all I needed. Thank you. Okay. What room number are you in? Um, no, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not. I don't need to tell you my room number. Why not? Because you're going to come eat my ice cream. I don't want you to come eat my ice cream, okay? And you don't want to share with me? Well, well I mean... Maybe. Are you the girl that was, um, are you, were you there all day today? No. When did you get oh, there today? The Maybe i seen you. If you're, if you're cute, you can come in my room with me if you're pretty. But I don't like in ugly people. Oh, I'm ugly. You ugly? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ugly. Oh, come on. No, I don't want you to be in my room then. Come on. I No, it's no, that's not okay. So you are still in the hotel? Yes, I'm in the, I'm in the room right now. I'm in the room. Can you tell me what room number? No, 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 no. It's okay. Because I don't know you like that, you know? I don't even know who you are. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. You come in my room when I'm asleep and you try to kiss me. I'm not doing that today, okay? All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, I love you. Bye. Yes, I'm good. Okay, I love you. Bye. Okay. Say it back. Gordo, Big Hawk Casino and Hotel, let me direct your call. Hi, uh, yeah, um, um, uh, gosh, how do I put it? Um, well, my wife, she's had a miscarriage in the room. Okay. Uh, and we're just wondering if you have any supplies to clean up, uh, to help her out, you know, clean her what? up. Oh, my goodness, okay, what room are you in? Oh, we're in the bathroom. Um, I can't okay. leave her because she's holding my hand very tightly. Have you called the ambulance? Oh, she called her doctor. This this has happened before. This is about the sixth time. Okay. Ago. We're pretty used to it. We're old hat to this. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's been told okay. she can't She can't get pregnant over and over again, but she keeps trying. Mm-hmm. And, and she holds me captive practically. And, and so we have to go through this at every, every hotel in, in Manitoba. Mhm. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. We, other. We'd have no problem getting you some supplies. Um, okay. Yeah. Two five zero. Do you have a plastic bag? Yeah. Um. W- okay. Which room and are you when, in? Well, we're in the bathroom, as I said, and uh, she, she was, she doesn't want me to know what the room number is because she doesn't want any any real fuss made over this because it, it's a sick obsession that she has. You see. Yeah. She's obsessed with having miscarriages. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. But yeah, in order she, for us to get you those supplies. Okay. In order for us to get you those supplies, yeah. we just need to know the location, though. Okay. It's all right if I meet you on like the second floor. I'll be just standing in the middle of the hallway. Um, okay. Yeah. I'll send. Yeah. I'll send I'll that help you. Uh, one hand will be handcuffed. Uh, please don't don't interfere. That's just that's just her kink. Okay. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll see you in a few. Something from that area. Probably like the end of 2012, early 2013. Hello. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me now? Um, I'm making a lot of jizz. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You speak Spanish? No. 
Oh, I'm making my tacos in the room. You want some tacos for you and your family? Oh, no, no. It's okay. Yeah. Um, because I know you're very sleepy and tired, and I make a big taco for you. Okay, I come in and give it to you, okay? Uh, are you living in this hotel? Oh. Yes, but I'm leaving tomorrow morning, so I come give it to you. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello? hello. Oh, hello. hello. My name is Ben. Yes, Ben. Yes. I'm uh, I'm here with my brother Chode. I will on the phone next. Yeah. We're wondering if you want to come Hi. up to our room tonight. When I have the room. Yeah. Well, do you want to come up to the room and we can we can explore? We play cave ex- explorers. What's room? The we, bedroom. Here, let me put my brother on. You need the bedroom. We in the big room. We in the big room. The big room. Where are you now? I mean the big are room. You? Okay. Don't yell yes. at me. Where are you? I mean the room, man. Come on, man. I mean the room. What room? The big room. You know, listen. The big room. Big one. Big room. Big. I go to the front desk. You want me to come in over there? Because I can come into the front desk for you, man. Come on. Okay, coming right now. You want me to bring you a taco? No, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Do you like tacos de carnitas, de al pastor, asada? ¿Qué quieres para oh. tomar? You want a drinking or two? Or... Huh? <laughs> Who is that, man? Who's over there talking to you? Okay, I bring you a big taco with lots of carne in it, okay? And some crema. Okay. You want some crema in your taco too? Yeah, please. Um, you like aguacate? No, it's okay. Cream is good. Okay. Okay, I come in and give it to you. You want me to put yeah. it in your mouth too, man? You feeding you like a baby? <laughs> no, no. Okay. Okay, man. I come see you right now, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I love you. Bye. Papa T, how may I help you? Hi. Um, I made tacos. Hello? Yeah? Hello? Buenas noches. I'm I'm here. Oh, my God. Are you listening to me or no? Uh, You keep cutting out. Can you hear me now? God damn it. Um, I think you have the wrong number. It's the hotel. I'm calling the hotel. Yes, it is the hotel. Okay. Like now proper you, now you listen. Okay, I'm sorry. Listen to me, God damn you. Listen. Hello? Hi, uh... Do you know where I can get some tacos this hour of the night? No, I don't think so. Anything would be open because it's already uh, 11, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, is there a vending machine where I can make a taco? Yeah, a vending machine is on every floor, so yeah. Okay, what What do you think in there I can like turn into like a taco? Like on the fly? Uh, like candy or pizza. chips? Oh, oh, sorry, yeah. You can grab like we have Doritos. 
Okay. Uh, That's kind of like, you know, uh, pizza or taco. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and how about you? What are you doing later? What do you mean by? Oh, what are you doing later? Like, I'm up like, here, I'm watching what? Netflix, and I'm just going to, like, I'm going to watch a TV show, what's and maybe a movie. Number? Can you just tell me what's your room number? Oh, well, I, really I will don't kick you that. out within a second. What? What like, do you mean? You're not me for net- I'm just trying to be friendly. Oh, oh. Okay. Thank you for calling Days in Regina, part of the Dimension 3 <laughs> Hospitality Family of Hotels. What? Your call is important to us. If you know the room excited. number of the party you wish to be. Virginia. A lot going on here. Jesus. I thought you asked me to call the Virginia. You call us and I'm going to help you. Hi. Hello. Is Regina? Yes. Um, Spit, I'm making tacos in my room. And I was wondering if you want me to come bring you a taco. Sorry, what? I said I'm making tacos in the room. I was wondering if you want me to bring you some tacos, man. Are you calling from room 222? Yes. Uh, That's all good, man. We just had dinner. So thanks for asking. That means a lot. You don't want some tacos? Maybe I give them to you for tomorrow. You have, you eat them in the morning. Okay, sounds good. You can just bring it. But don't bring um, like too much. Just what kind you liking, man? Food. You like carnitas al pastor? Carne asada? I like, I don't eat beef. So, if it's beef, I will not be able to eat it. Oh. Okay, so you play like in carnitas or al pastor because it's it's the porco, it's the pigs. That's the pig. Okay. You know what, man? Just okay, man, I bring you a go the pig, the pesquis. No, no, man, I, I, I don't eat that. So thanks for asking. You no, it's a pig, man, it's a pig. Yeah, but I don't eat pig, man. I just eat chicken. Only chicken? Yeah, man. Okay, well, I have to find my chicken. He's right here somewhere. Hold on. I can make you tacos the chicken. Hold on. Where's the chicken? Oh, my chicken's right here, man. Hey, that's all good, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to fucking kill the chicken and make you tacos. That's good. That's good, boy. Fucking come here, chicken. Yeah, yeah, I can hear Fucking it. chicken is fast, man. I can find him, man. He's fucking fast. <laughs> you can have fun, boss. That's all good. Thanks for asking. Ah, oh, fucking okay, man. I'm talking to you later, man. I bring you a taco and I give it to you. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. See you, buddy. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Let's try to feed the person some tacos. Oh, okay. Hi there. Thank you for calling Trouble. Let's try Jane. I'm Hi. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Well, listen, I'm I'm cooking some tacos up here in the room. I was wondering if you wanted some. That's okay, thank you. What room are you? Are you? Sure? Oh, it's, you know, two something. I, I wasn't paying attention when you handed me the key and, you know. That's okay, just enjoy your night. But, oh, but I have so much. It's It's too much. I have too much. I have too much. What room are you? I just two one, you know, five. Two one five, I think. Two. I have just too uh, too much food. Like it's so much. I have five hundred tacos. I overordered. I ordered from the taco uh, people from down the street. I got, I got, I thought I was buying five, but they said, oh no, you owe us $250, and we're giving you uh, 100 tacos. I think they miscalculated, because this is like 500 tacos. 
Like there's tacos all over the bed. There's tacos all over the bathroom. I don't know where to put all these tacos. I'm stepping on some of them. I slipped in a couple tacos. My wife, she unveiled her taco. Mm. Uh, it stinks. Uh, I... It stinks like tuna. Oh. So are yeah. you... Oh. Your name, sir? It's Johnson. Harry Johnson. Nice to meet you. My wife okay. booked the room. Because Harry Johnson. What's the name of your wife? It's Taco. Are you the travel lad, sir? Yeah, my wife's name is Taco Bell. You know, last name Bell, first name Taco. But is that that And her middle name is, is terrible. What's the name of the guest here in our system, sir? Yeah, her first name is Bell, B E L L E. Last name Taco, T A K K O. Taco. But th there's no in our system. There's no gas in our system. There's no bell taco? Yes, sir. Oh. That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> I got yeah, here, I no pushed, and I shoved, and I got inside, and I looked inside, and we're inside with the tacos now. I was wondering if you wanted some. That's all. No, it's okay, sir. Thank you. I don't know what I'm do with cool. all these tacos. What am I going to do with all the tacos? There's so many. Just leave it there in your room there. <laughs> when is your checking oh. out? Okay. What is everybody gonna eat? Like you can come up here, it's like a buffet. <coughs> I'm up to my knees in tacos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These tacos are so good. You mm -hmm. talk to my taco man. He sold me the tacos. He's here now. He's eating his own tacos now. It was really mm -hmm. weird. Bueno. Hello. Buenos noches. How are you? I'm good. What room are you? Because in our system, I cannot. Um, my name is Edgar Ramirez, and I'm making a bunch of tacos in a room. You want one too? I bring it to you. No, it's okay. I'm full. Thank you. What kind so of can meat? you hold Do for you a like while you? because we have a guest here? Oh my god, I'm talking to you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Good evening, thanks for calling Moto6 Rajana. Oh. Are you speaking? How may I help you? Oh, oh. oh. Hello? Hello? Oh. Hello? There's tacos in the room. Which room? The taco room, there's a man here. He's making the tacos and he's <laughs> handing them out. <laughs> Hello? Hi, there's a taco man here. Uh, he's, he's giving me tacos. There's too many tacos. Uh, you want tacos? <laughs> Where are you Keep from? eating the tacos. Keep eating them. I don't want to eat it. There's too much. Do you want Put the tacos? Oh. Hello? Mm. Hello. Hello. Yes. Um. Buenos noches. My name is Taco, and I'm okay. making tacos in a room. Okay. So how can I help you? Do you want some tacos, man? Do you want no. some? We're trying to tell you if you want some tacos. We have too many. No. No, 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 sir. No. Thanks for the asking. I bring you some. You can eat them tomorrow in the morning for the desayuna. No, sir, I'm not eating. <laughs> Come on, man. It's a taco. No, yeah, I can understand, but I, I'm i already uh, done with my dinner. So, uh, thanks for the asking, sir. You, you don't like tacos? Or you like no. them? What kind of meat? You like a car carnitas? No, no, sir, I'm, I don't like it. That's why I'm... You don't like Mexicans? No, sir. 
Oh, okay, fuck you too then, buddy. I don't like you, fucking bancho. Hello, for you to reach Hello Day Express, Regina South, how can I help you? Oh, oh, hello, hello? Yes? Um, Alasma keeps on feeding me tacos. He won't stop. There are fucking too many tacos in my mouth. Yeah, take that taco. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, Eat that taco. Uh, oh. Hello? Hello, yes? Ah, uh, yeah, you want some tacos? No, I'm okay. Tacos. Is there Take anything the taco, I can help you with? It. Yeah, we got too many tacos up here. You know anyone that wants to eat some tacos? No, I'm okay. Tacos. Is there anything else wrong? Yeah, you have any tacos down there? I could really use some tacos. Eat the tacos. No, we don't have any tacos. Oh, no, please. What room Eat number it. are you in? Oh. Taco room. What room number? Sorry? It's a taco room. In the hotel, which room number? Yeah, the one near the, you know, the stairs. It's the one that smells like tacos. We got all the spices going here. Uh, do you want me to send someone? Is it 106, 107? It's 107, but, you know, we're just eating tacos up here. We want to know, you know, if you had any taco meat, because we ran out. Yeah, eat the taco. Okay. Eat the taco. Eat that taco. Uh, uh, Hello? Just yeah, you want to eat tacos with us? Come y- on up. Yes, just, 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 your room is down doing tacos in, on the first show, floor? Show and tell. Yeah, 107. Okay, uh, one moment, eat please. taco. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm fucking loving Turbo's little, like, noises he's making when we say something funny. He's like, dude, he's like, I don't know what he did earlier, but he went like, <laughs> he did like, oh. <laughs> Thank you for calling Fairfield Regina by Mary. Time to offer can I help you? Hi, uh, do you have tacos? Oh. Oh. Eat a taco. You have any tacos? No, please. Right? There's so many. Yeah, we have a lot of tacos, and I want to know if if we have if we can get more tacos. Uh, I'm so sorry. You called it Fairfield Hotel tacos. in Regina. Yeah, I know. We're in the room. I know. Mm-hmm. Just wondering mm-hmm. if there was a place to get tacos, because oh, we you bought a get couple tacos, tacos, and we need more tacos. Ah, please. There is this restaurant the called. I'm not sure if they keep. Bite down on it. Just give me a minute there you here. Go. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why are tacos on the premises? It just doesn't make sense. What is this now? No, uh, please don't put the number? pickle in my mouth. Yeah. May I have your room number? Yeah. <sighs> Taco. Taco room. Hey, he keeps on putting the the taco in my mouth, man. It feels so good, man. <laughs> it feels really good. <laughs> Eat that taco. Eat that taco. You, where can we get tacos this hour of the night? Does Walmart have it? <laughs> Hello? Thank you for calling Ramadan downtown. How may I help you? Hi. Yeah. This man here, he's eating my taco. Pardon me? Hello. Hello? Hello. Hello? Jess? Pardon me? Hello. You li- Thank you for calling Holiday Express and Sweet Downtown Resident. How can I help you? Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm good, how are you? Um, we making tacos in the room. I was wondering if you want me to come bringing you one? A taco? What's that? Me and my... We making tacos. Do you want one, okay. man? I uh, know. You don't eat tacos? Nope. 
Um, we have different meat, man. We have um pig, beef, chicken. We don't need anything, sorry. You don't need anything at all, man? You don't need it? No. Nope. Well, how about I come over there, I bring the taco, I bend you over, oh. and I put it in your ass, man. You have, you, you have, do we do it with your own pipe? Thank you for calling Loves 378. This is Libby. Can I help you? Um, Libby, um, I have a kind of an issue. Oh, no, my God. Oh, my gosh. Libby, hello? Yes. Hello? Um, there's a, there's a fucking clown, man. He's a clown, and he's selling me tacos. Thanks for calling Sutton Pilot. Yeah, How may I, I help you? Um, there's a... I, I'm in the parking lot right now, man. And there's like... I got a, I got a little problem. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a guy with your guys' shirt on. He's right here. And he keeps telling me that you guys have tacos. Is there anything else I can help you with, man? Open the door. I'll go for you. <laughs> I gotta go. Morgan, pilot, help you. Hi, yeah, I'm out here. I'm trying to sell people tacos. I was wondering if you wanted a taco. No, I'm good. I appreciate the offer. All right, let me send my friend in, because he's got a whole bunch of other things to sell you. Let me give you. Don't tell anyone the meat's from the dumpster, all right? <laughs> okay. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Have a good one. Count 243, this is Carrie. How can I help you? Um. Hello. I was outside. Hello. Hello. You was Hi, outside, um, man. I was out. And there was a person in the shirt that you guys have. He's wearing the same shirt. He's working for you. Okay. Um. For one, our maintenance guys don't wear the red shirts or the black shirts. So he's not tacos. working for us. Get your tacos. He's got a red shirt on, and he's telling me if I want to buy tacos. Well, have a great day. I'm done with y'all. Buy my tacos, Danny. Pilot 243, how can I help you? Hey, you have a problem talking on the phone, or what? You you don't like doing your job? Uh, I'm sorry? You don't like doing your goddamn job when I'm calling you and telling you something you fucking hang up in the phone? Uh, excuse me, if you're going to talk like that, you don't have to call back, and we don't have to answer you or respond back. If you're outside, that we can call for security. That lady right there, she's hanging up on me when I'm telling her there's a problem, and she fucking hanging up. What the fuck is okay, that, well, man? Okay, well, she hung up. She hung up. Be- Would you like to talk to security? Put the fucking security. I don't give a shit. Put him on the phone. Go ahead. I'm not scared. Uh, no, I mean, he, I he's looking nothing. for you outside. Fucking nay, okay? I'm talking to that guy then. God damn it, man. Fuck. Okay, bye-bye. Either way. Hello? Truck stop. Hi, we got tacos here. You want some tacos? All right. Go more 43. Hi, yeah, I'm in my fallout shelter over here. I was wondering if you had any tacos. Do you have any what? Tacos. Tacos? Yeah, there's a this guy out truck- here. I know, and he says he works for you guys. He's selling tacos. I wanted who, to verify who, who, that. Who, 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 here, what's his name? Here, you want me to put him on? 
Here, let me who, put who her on is? the phone. Here, dude, take the phone. Here, look. She wants to talk to you. I don't know. Talk to her. Bueno. Hello? Bueno. Bueno. We don't have tacos here. Not yet. Um, no, I'm the one that's making the tacos for you. You're making tacos for us? This is a truck stop. Yes, I will. I'm, I'm making tacos for everybody. Okay. Oh, just this lady's night. And I feel all right. It's lady's okay. night. Okay. Let Cool Gang sing it. Let Leave him alone. Let them sing it. Like, excuse me? <laughs> I don't fucking tell you what to sing, okay? Because uh, you don't be telling me. <laughs> Charging money for incomplete products. Hello? Hello? Hi, there's a guy out here. He says he works for you guys. He's selling tacos? <laughs> Uh, He's where at? my truck here. Uh, these a while. Oh, uh... Here, give me just a few talk minutes. To him. Here, Hello? You talk to him. Uh, yeah, give me just a second. Uh, it didn't work. Bueno? <laughs> We're having a problem over by the diesel area, so... I don't think it'll work again. If it don't work now, I don't think it'll... Hello? There's a taco in my diesel. Are you still there? Yeah, Hello. here. We have put the man on here. What is it? Hello? Hello? Bueno, how are you? Uh, pretty good. I'm making tacos for everybody. You want some tacos? Oh, uh, no, I'm good. You don't like tacos or what, man? No, I just don't want any. Okay, you already eating? Oh, I'll get right back to you. Okay. Okay, I kiss you. I don't know. It worked tonight, earlier, but just sometimes it don't work. Honestly, I'm not a clue. It worked like an hour ago. Now it's okay. Oh, 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 oh. So I hit done, right? Uh, yeah. You don't want to try it again? It won't work. With a different barcode or whatever? Oh, oh well, maybe. Hello? Uh, this guy's in my truck. Hello? Hello? Does he work for you? Hello? Hello? Hi, yeah, this guy's in my truck now. He's wor- He says he works for you. He has the tacos or something? <laughs> Hello? Thank you for calling pilot. Yeah. Oh. Um, do you see the guy right here? He's, he's on the phone with me. Can you hear him? Oh. Wow, look at that. Thank you for calling Store 238 in Shepherdsville, Kentucky. This is Kelly speaking. Hey. How may I help you? Kelly. Hello. Buenos, buenos noches, Kelly. How are you? Good, how are you? Do you hear this guy? Do you hear him? He's on the phone too. Listen. I, I don't hear him, sir. I'm sorry. Wow, look at that. Look at all those things. There's, a, there's another man on uh, the phone. Okay. Is there something I can help oh. you with today? Look at those tits. I need you to get him out of the phone. He's on the phone oh too. Oh, my God. All right, wow. sir. I think, uh, have a good day, okay? Wow, look at that. Thank you for calling Apollo 399. How may I help you? 
please can i ask you a question man sure i swear there's a person on the phone but nobody believing me can you hear the person can you hear him wow Listen, Elizabeth, this is Hannah. How may I help you? Hannah, I have a problem. Okay. How can I help you? For some reason, there's a person. There, for some reason, only when I'm calling you, you can hear the man that's on my phone. Yeah, put it in there. Wow. I'm sorry. Can you hear him? Can you hear him? He's talking right now. But how do we put it inside there? Can I fit? Oh, well, I don't know about that. He only can be heard when I'm calling you guys. Nobody else believing me. No, you can't. You can't tear into that though. That's they'll probably hurt a lot. Power four forty. Hey, come on, man. I have a question for you, man, if you can help me. What? I have a question for you, man. So I'm needing you to help me. Uh, I can't guarantee I can help, but what's your question? Spit on it. So for some reason, only when I'm talking to you and this number, you can hear the person on my phone. There is a person on the phone talking to me, but nobody believing me because nobody can hear him. Only when I calling your number, you can hear him too, man. I am not crazy. Mm, just you. Tear it open. Can you hear him? No. Okay, now put your finger in there. Well, that's too far. You cannot hear that person. No. You've gone too far. Okay, turn around. Please. Please tell me you hear him talking about something in there right now. I don't think I can fit in there. I don't really hear anything. I can't fit. He just said I can't fit. I mean, if you're that worried Find about it, you can call the police and have them track it. They can't hear him, man. They cannot hear him. Nobody can hear him except you. Look, well, I'm telling you, I don't off, hear anything. So that's a whole lot of not... I can't help you. How can you not help me, man? You can hear what he's saying. Tell me what he's doing. Okay, but you gotta I don't open know. Up. But uh, open up your you're, mouth. you're over here playing around open on my phone. Wide. So you have a good night. Open wide. I'm not playing, you fucking idiot. Uh, hi. Hey. So there's a guy on my phone. Apparently, I've been calling trying uh, to get people on the phone because I don't know who this man is. He. he uh, so I think I might have picked him up but at the last stop. I was wondering maybe you're missing a, an employee. I'm. I'm sorry. What? what? Yeah, there's a guy. I think he's he's on top I work of my there, truck. Man. Here, uh, take the phone. I don't know. Hello? Hello? Hi, um, you have a nice pussy? Okay, why don't you kill yourself? Thank you. Franklin Byron. Um, can you tell her I'm sorry? I didn't get anything to connect to it on the... Hello, Hello? Hi, yeah, there's a guy out here. Uh, he says he works for you. I'll put him on the phone, because he's kind Hello. of weird me out. Hello? Yes? Um... This person, he wants me to fuck him, and then he wants me to get you next. Yeah, take no the pillow it's, it's all yours to, to end on. I have to remind <laughs> myself, put Milkman's ending on the show. 
uh, in big red letters. Put on my Milkman's screen. ending on the show. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let me get you out of here, everybody. All right. Kids of all ages. Another fun filled installment of the Madhouse Militia. Yes. I want to thank you, dear family out there and all around for tuning in. All our friends right here for participating. Thank you so much. And, uh, we are overcoming pain and fear and anger in our world. And we're learning that laughing at our problems melts away the grief of our troubles, healing our collective souls with the magical power of laughter right here on the Madhouse Militia Show every week, Friday night at 10 p.m. right here in your earballs. Every Friday night, we are dropping the dimes. We're asking that you give us a time, bring a friend, or better yet, bring an enemy. Because you know what? They're all welcome right here in the Madhouse Militia. And I especially want to thank you out there, Mr. Big Wasted Machine. <laughs> Oh my goodness, thank you so much for your support and giving us a good strong backbone in here. And thank you all my dear friends in here in this crazy laughing room here. You know what, we all shared a smile and I hope everybody out there spreads some more joy with the smiles that you've had right here in this crazy madhouse militia. Thank you so much, Carlito, Hermanito, the Generalissimo in heaven with the big golden earphones in our earballs inspiring us with this crazy form of comedy hatched so long ago and still moving forward with this gigantic torch that I could barely move it forward without my brother Axe. Thank you so much Axe for helping me move this gigantic torch forward sharing laughter and joy to the world every week right here and uh, if you get a chance check out Dwight the Janitor possibly tomorrow and if not, he'll be on another time. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. And look for us right here in Madhouse Militia next week, 10 p.m. Friday. Same bat cave, same bat time, same bat family. Ah, children of all ages. Thank you, dear Axel. I love you, brother. Thank you, Milkman. Thank you for uh, taking us out of here. And thank you for uh, being here to do calls with us and every week. And I do appreciate it. Certainly. You. You know, if it weren't Thank for you, you and Carlito, I wouldn't be doing any of this. I wouldn't have hung around for so long and um, bless you all those years ago. So I do have to say thank you. He's still moving us. Thank and you, brother. Thank you to Dwight. I know he was here listening. Uh, he did just post in the Dwight Court the uh, obit oh, for okay. uh, Carl, uh, yeah, Carl Weathers, who died today, uh, who was in all oh. Rocky films, and he was a good actor. Yeah. So God sad. bless you, Carl Weathers. Oh, I'm yeah. so sorry to hear that. I know you're passing into the gates of heaven. You tell Armanito he'll be waiting for you up there. He's a big was, slugger, it too. It's totally sudden, but, yeah. No. So, so. He's graduated to the higher plane of existence up there in heaven with the good Armanito. He's in good company. Yeah. Okay. Carl well, and Carl. We'll uh, end it here. We'll see you next week. Uh, God willing, you know, everything's okay next week, and we'll get through another week together, alive and well. Let's uh, let's try and do that, huh? Uh, I'll see you Keep that all. smile on. Round yeah. the circle, guys. And, uh, oh, Hillock, he, uh, he got through his surgery. He had to have a wound taken care of with a plastic surgery, surgery mm. apparently. So oh. he got through it okay. He's recovering. So hopefully we'll get him on a show at some point, and uh, he can join us for some calls. All right. Try and get Zach's back. Keep on healing, dear, back, dear Daddy so. Hillock. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, keep on healing, brother. We're glad to hear you made it through. Yeah, so. Uh, I think that's it.